Hey, we're back on the Good Morning Artesia Radio Show, and joining us from Mars Driving Academy, you and Elon working on getting to Mars? We're working on it, yeah. yeah. We're I strategizing th- right now. He already sent the car, right? Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> That'd yeah. be kind of fun. Yeah. I think he's uh, a little concerned with other things right now. <laughs> well, he's trying to get the rockets to work. Uh, that's yeah. the main thing, so yeah. that's uh, pretty important. But... Uh, You've got some classes coming up. We want to introduce a couple of uh, students who are about to graduate today. Yep. Uh, when is your next class coming up? Tell us about that. Yeah, so our next class starts this Monday. This is June 17th. And uh, we, we are taking enrollments already. Uh, people can go to our website and sign up there. Um, and also, we do have, so if somebody's not able to get in for this next class, we have two more classes one, uh, in, in July. So um, next month we'll have two classes, two more opportunities for, for uh, any new students that want to sh- sign up. Okay. So we have a full, full summer schedule. Full summer. How, how long is a class? How many days? So it's usually two weeks. This particular class it was a week, uh, week and a half. Mm-hmm. Today's going to be their last day. They're taking their final today. Um, but usually it's about two weeks. About two it just weeks. depends on how we can schedule it. Sometimes we'll do, uh, like the next class, for example, will be, uh, it'll be the two full weeks, but no class on Wednesdays. Mm-hmm. So it just depends on how the scheduling uh, lines up. And you mentioned you can sign up on the website. Did you do some updates on the yes, website? Yes, we just uh, launched uh, a couple weeks ago our brand new website, drivemda.com drivemda.com and it's a much better well i think it's a much better experience for particularly for enrolling for signing up signing up is very very easy on the website uh compared to how it used to be Mm -hmm. Uh, it can all be done right there one-stop shop uh even we have uh, right now we have a coupon code that you can use at checkout uh drive 50 that that'll get you 50 dollars off of the uh of the tuition price okay so it's very easy to to go in there you submit all your documents everything you need to submit right on the website so it's just uh, a lot easier a lot smoother sign up process so if you're missing a document and you need to get something can you pause the process and then pick up where you left off yeah well it's not really a long process Mm -hmm. so we have some people that'll that'll get to that point and they realize oh i don't have my you know birth certificate or whatever so they'll stop and then they'll come back and it's just a few lines down so you know they'll just start from the beginning oh okay yeah okay so good (laughs) yeah it's not a we don't ask for you know 10 million questions and and uh, we just, uh, it's a very simple, streamlined process. Okay. But you, do you have a list of the documents necessary on there so they can get all those up before they start? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, it's all on there. Yeah. It's all on there. So mm-hmm. you need this, 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 and this, or whatever it is, mm-hmm. and uh, you're ready to go. Yep. Well, yep. who'd you bring with you? Okay, so we have, this is Samuel and this is Carly. Both of them are taking their final today. So they're, I'm sure, very excited about that. And uh, so after today, they'll be done with the classroom portion, and all they'll have left is just the, the behind-the-wheel training, which both of them have already done their first hour, so they're already kind of familiar with that process also. But, okay. But, yeah. So All right. Well, well, Carly, thanks for coming in today. Yes, sir. Yeah, get a little closer to that microphone if you okay. would. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So have you ever driven before you started taking the class? Um, a couple times. A couple just times? Just with my parents. Yeah. Yes, sir. And you didn't wreck anything. No, sir, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so what's, uh, what's the class like? Uh, you've been in the classroom, right? Mm-hmm. What are some of the interesting things you've learned? Well, I wasn't expecting a lot, but I've learned a lot, actually. I've, like, we go over everything, pretty much, and we just go step by step, and then there's these little quizzes after the lesson, and we go over them just so we like, understand it fully. And it just like, goes really into detail, like different driving experiences we could go through or different scenarios that could happen. And it really just teaches us like, what to do or how to handle them. So it's just really informal and all that type of stuff. All right. So you're ready to do the behind the wheel or you've done some of the behind the I've wheel? I've done some of the behind the wheel already. Yeah. Have, yes, have you scared anybody? Uh, 
I don't think so. I got honked at, but I don't think it was my fault. <laughs> you got honked at? Yes, huh? sir. <laughs> so what's the proper response? Do nothing. Just keep driving. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Because <laughs> that's not what some people do, right? <laughs> there you go. Samuel, uh, get up to the microphone there. Tell us about your experience so far. Had you ever driven before you started the class? Uh, yes, I, I had driven a couple times before. It had been uh, kind of a long time ago, though. So. Right, right. And so what's, uh, what's the class experience been like for you? Have you learned some things? Um, oh, yeah. I definitely know a lot more about driving. I, I didn't know how many things you really had to do while you were driving. It's uh, an eye-opener, really, how about all the different situations and everything you need to be doing. It's a, it's, it's a really nice class. I like it. You learn uh, a lot of practical things. And like when you learn something, you not only learn what to do, but you learn why to do it. And that really helps you to remember. So That's good. Like and then you've had some behind-the-wheel experience? Yes, I have. Have you been honked at? No. <laughs> <laughs> You've been, been, been good yeah, at that. Yet. All right. Uh, I do have a question for the both of you. H how do you do these roundabouts? How, does those, how are those supposed to work? What would you learn about roundabouts? Do you want to go or do you want me to? You want to go, Carly? Go ahead. And tell, how, how, how do we handle these roundabouts? Well, you always go. Get, get a little closer there. I'm sorry. That's okay. I think you always go in a counterclockwise. You always go counterclockwise. And you enter and you, I don't think you can make. Crap, I just forgot that rule. <laughs> That's a good no start. pressure. Yeah. Start. No start. pressure. You're not gonna. You're not. It's not gonna affect your graduation. <laughs> right there. I'm what looking do you, these off, Carly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what do you think, Samuel? What's what? What do you think the answer could be? About roundabouts? Yes. Uh, no, yeah, like you said, you go in a clockwise motion. I mean, a counter counterclockwise motion. Okay. Like and. Um, because if you go clockwise, you'll get honked at. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, I go in a counterclockwise motion, and then uh, I guess you just kind of look for your exit. I mean, you know what's crazy is we have two of them here, and they're single lane. Mm -hmm. And if you see any video from out of Europe, like England or stuff like that, they've got like six lanes of roundabouts. Never mm -hmm. seen that. And it's it's just it's mind-boggling. I think they have them down in Mexico and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And it's just like I could never. I don't know if I could ever figure it I need to get from the outside here to the inside here for that one. I guess you just go. <laughs> go quickly, yes. Go quickly and, and do all that. Was yeah. there something that, that you thought you knew about driving, like maybe four-way stops or something like that, that you didn't, that you thought you knew, but then when you took the class, you actually learned this is how you're supposed to do it? Well, I really thought about like the stop sign or like the stop lights and the yield signs. Like I thought I knew all about it, but I just learned a lot. Like yellow, that means you need to prepare to clear the intersection, not like speed up. You know, like <laughs> like yield sign. There's many things you can do, but yeah, just yeah. different things that you learn a lot more about. Good, good. How about for you, Samuel? Um, I mean, yeah, a lot of things. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of one right now, but um. I guess just kind of like the, the driving in general, how, um, I mean, I, I thought it was pretty easy, you know, you just get behind the wheel and drive, right? <laughs> no, you actually have to do a lot of things at the same time and think about all those things and, uh, yeah. Well, it's a lot different too today because a lot of the newer cars have all these uh, assistants, you know, but it, not like the olden days. Have you driven a manual transmission vehicle yet? No. No? No, no you, sh you should. <laughs> You know, three on the tree or four on the floor. Yeah. Well, actually, they're five speeds now. Yeah, so. they're five and six, and I've seen some that are seven speeds. I know. Yeah. It's so. crazy. How about with the paddle shifters? That's like fake manual transmission. Yeah, that's fake. <laughs> <laughs> you know, kick the gear over into manual, hit the paddles? Yeah. No? I hadn't done that yet. How, how, are, how are the instructors? How, how was that process? Did you really enjoy working with the instructors? Yeah, I do really appreciate the instructor. I appreciate that. You know, his way of teaching, it's very interactive, it's uh, interesting, he's very patient, he encourages, you know, after each, we have, we have chapters, so after each chapter, he asks, does anybody have any questions, he, and if we do, he, he answers them, and uh, yeah, I really appreciate that. How about yeah. for you, Carly? Yeah, I agree, he's very interactive, um, he just knows, like, how to answer the questions, how we'll understand it, like, he knows we're just starting out, and how to, like, understand. Tell, explain it to us how we'll understand, not some random words that we don't know how to understand. So you would recommend people take the class? I would. Yeah. 
Because what are the Marcelino? What are other options people have? I guess they just show up and try to pass a test from the Department of Transportation. Yeah, or? and you can't even do that uh, if you're under 18. Mm -hmm. So if you're over 18, yeah, you could just show up. You know, you can study beforehand and try to pass. But uh, for anybody who is under under 18, 15, 16, 17. Uh, the state requires that they have to do driver's ed. Okay. They have to take a driver's ed class. And it's the only way to do it. And one of the ways you can do that is through Mars Driving Academy. Mm -hmm. What's the website again? DriveMDA.com. DriveMDA.com. Mm -hmm. I bet that stands for. Uh, Drive Mar Mars, Mars Driving. Mars Academy. Driving. <laughs> <laughs> Trip me up there. <laughs> no, no, I, was, I wasn't trying to do that. And you got another class starting on, on the 17th. On the 17th, and then yeah. you have two classes coming up in July. In July yeah. Do you see that on the website? So yes, all of that. The schedules, the complete schedules for all of the classes are on the website also. Okay. So, what's going to be your first car, Carly? You get your own car waiting for you? Yes, sir, I do. What, what, what's it going to be? It's a 2005 Dodge Nitro. Dodge Nitro. Yes, Good sir. for you. Samuel, have you got a car waiting on you? Uh, not at the moment. <laughs> not at the moment. What would you like to have? Uh, I, I like trucks. Trucks, yeah. okay. Full size or the one of the, the half size? Uh, probably, preferably a full size. Full size. There you go. All right, well, Carly, Samuel, thank you so much for coming in. Good luck with your final. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Marcelino, thank you. Anything else? Uh, I just want to give a shout out to, um, there is a Permian Road Safety Coalition. It's also going to be doing, it's kind of like an advanced driver's ed. We're not affiliated, Mars Driving Academy is not, not affiliated with them. But I do believe that it is a very good training that they have. It's not the same as what we do, it's more advanced. And it helps young drivers um, uh, handle those emergency situations that can sometimes come back, uh, come up. It puts them right in the in that situation in a safe environment so that they can learn how to how to handle it. And that's called. And it's, it's a Permian uh, Road Safety Coalition. It's along the the website to sign up. It's they're com It's coming up on the 26th, June 26th. They have a safety clinic for young drivers, uh, but I have it on my Facebook page so people can check it out there. Thanks for coming in. All right. All right. We'll see you. Let's go to the news.